biology. That's a white man's game. If you're black and a woman and you're falling for this crap, then I hate to say this, but you should be ashamed because you've been played. They mock us by saying they're the most oppressed because they put on a dress and just want to pee next to me and somehow that's worse than our history of segregation and slavery. Beaten, raped, torn from our homes, our history stolen, forever gone and they want to compare that to needing wrong sex hormones. Do you know what I feel when I hear a white man demand compelled speech? I feel the crack of the whip on my back. I feel my ancestor's face pushed to the ground with a white master's boot still holding them down. Black women chained to a stone that was used as a bed at the back of the plantation in the purpose-built rape shed were used and considered as black birthing bodies back then. Now you want to call them that again just to please the white men? Like I said, this is a white man's shame. You think our cousins in Africa are playing this way? Demanding you change the words that you use because some dude can no longer handle being a dude? If you do, you're a fool. Gender ID is for the bourgeoisie, the elites, the ones that live such privileged lives they have to make up some strife, just like Rachel did when she pretended not to be white. Have you heard how they compare us to men? Let me say it like this so it sinks in. If your black mum can be a woman, then so can a him. You realise how racist that is, right? It means their default for woman is white. They're using us like they use the LGB, the forced teaming, using our struggle like it's their own while insulting us by saying we didn't know what biology was until a white man came and taught it to us. Yes, sir. No, sir. Whatever you say, sir. But someone should have told you that those days are over and I ain't got no owner and I ain't got no crops to pick and I ain't got no fucks to give. So you ain't about to tell me shit about what it means to be a girl, a woman, a her, a she. Those words are mine. They belong to me and I am free and I will use my speech any goddamn way I please.